These Axial G3 Diamond Series smoked LED taillights are for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 JK that are looking for a taillight that's gonna change up the look of the rear of your Jeep, as well as something that's going to give you a nice bright light that's also going to have a nice crisp clean on off. It's gonna give you a little bit more of a modern look, as well as making sure that you're attention grabbing when you have your turn signal or your four ways on. These lights are going to install very easily onto your Jeep. Definitely a one out of three wrench installation, plug and play install. Very, very simple, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. So what makes these different from some of the other Axial taillights? It's really just styling. So this is going to have a smoked lens on it, and it has this diamond pattern on the inside that's actually works more of almost like a fiber optic than individual LEDs. So instead of having individual LED hotspots, this is going to be a bar of light, and it does create that diamond shape, which is going to give it a little bit more of a flashy look. If you're somebody who's looking for a little bit more of an OEM butt LED tail light, this is not going to be for you. But if you are looking for something that's gonna give your Jeep that custom look and something that's a little bit flashier, again, I think that this is gonna be a nice choice. All in all, Axial makes a pretty quality product at a very fair price. There are going to be taillights out there that are two, three times what these ones cost. There are also gonna be some that are a little bit less expensive, but for what you're getting, a plug and play taillight that is pretty well built and is gonna do everything it's advertised to do, I think these are a pretty good deal. So I talked a little bit about construction already. These are going to have a smoked lens on them, which is gonna give your Jeep that stealthy blacked out look when the light is off, but when it's on, you're going to have uh, these diamond shapes, these diamond patterns on the inside are gonna be lit up. So you're going to have uh, a tail turn stop and also a white reverse light built into this light. It also has a reflector, which is necessary to keep you legal, another reflector on the side, and it also has LEDs on the side. Now this isn't something that every light has. Some of the ones that are even less expensive than these aren't going to have an LED on the side, they're just going to have the reflector. So keep that in mind when you're shopping around. Something else that I really like about these lights is the fact that it has a very factory style connector. So again, completely plug and play. There's no splicing, there's no soldering, there's nothing like that. This is also going to have a resistor that is external from the housing of the light itself. Now, some of you might think, rather have it inside, it makes it easier. Well, actually, these things can build up a good bit of heat. So you wanna be able to mount this on a metal surface on the inside of the tub of your Jeep so that this can bleed off all of that heat and the light can continue to work really well over time. And God forbid something were to ever happen to this, you can replace it where if it's on the inside there, you can't do that. If you look at the rest of the back of the light, everything is sealed up. It's not completely watertight, but it doesn't really need to be either. Some of the other lights on the market that are a little less expensive, they just have open uh, PC boards back here, just with open surface mount components. There's uh, moisture can get on there, you can get condensation, you can get corrosion, you can end up with all sorts of issues. So this is gonna be sealed up on the back, which is again, something that I really like, especially for the price range. These are gonna be less expensive than some of those top tier lights out there. And I think they are still going to give you some really nice quality. As far as the styling that they provide, that's completely up to you. If you like this, they're gonna be an awesome option. It's a little bit too flashy. There are some other options from Axial and some other brands out there that I think you'll like a little better. A pair of these taillights from Axial is only going to run you $120, and I do think that's a good deal. Axial has done a very nice job of providing something that is quality, but also very fairly priced. I think these are no different. I think if you like the styling of these, you're gonna make a nice choice and pay a very fair price for them. Now, a member of the install team will show you how to get these bolted up to your JK. All right, to start this install off, we're gonna remove the taillights. Uh, we want to remove the two inside screws on our taillights. We do not need to remove the outside screws. Uh, it's pretty simple. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill with a Phillips head on it. Once you've got your screws out, we can simply slide the taillight to the left a little bit and pull out. Now from here, all you want to do is release the clip on the plug and we can remove our tail light. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the Jeep. Two inside screws. And we're going to push over pull out, release our clip, and our taillights are out. We are now ready to install our new taillights. It's going to be the same process as the uninstall, so we're going to plug in our harness here. And 
we're gonna start our screws by hand. All right, we can do the same thing on the other side now. First step, we're gonna plug our harness in. Uh, make sure you hear that click when the two plugs go together. Next, we can just stick the tail light right back in the hole. And start both of our screws by hand. Do not over tighten these screws right here because you will crack the taillight housing. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up our review and install. Be sure to check out more at ExtremeTerrain.com.